so let's talk about elevators so here's a question for you a 45 kg woman stands on a spring scale inside an elevator the scale leads the force with which it pushes upward on the woman what does the scale lead when the elevator is accelerating part a upward at 3.65 meters per second squared but B downward at 3.65 meters per second squared. Okay, so let's have the elevator. So here is the elevator. So we are going to have the scale of the elevator. The scale of the elevator always leads the normal force. So let's say we have a person Now we know that the surface of the elevator is going to exit the normal force So we're going to have the normal force At the same time the person is going to exit the normal force Sorry, the weight force. Okay, when a, when a, whenever an elevator is accelerating upward, the acceleration is positive. When an, when an elevator is accelerating downward, the acceleration is negative. Therefore, we can see we can say that the summation of all the forces in y direction. What forces do we have? The the forces acting on this person who is inside the elevator. There are only two: the normal force and the weight force. So the normal force is pointing upward is going to be positive minus the weight force is going to be negative. That's the reason I'm putting minus. According to Newton's second law, we can see that this part here we're going to replace with mass times acceleration. So we're going to have the mass times acceleration is going to be equal to the normal force minus weight force is just basically mg. So we are saying that the elevators always lead the normal force. So I can shift this part to the other side to make the normal force as a separate formula. So it's going to be the mass times acceleration plus mg is going to be equal to the normal force. So I can I can factor out the mass. It's going to be acceleration plus the g. So this formula is the one which is going to help us to find any kind of elevators. So, to find the value, we always use this formula on elevators. Okay. So, as we can see, the elevator will always lead the normal force. So, the scale will always lead the normal force. That is the key point which we have to understand. So, from here now, we can go ahead and solve these questions. So we have the first part here which is saying what does the scale read when the elevator is accelerating upward. So when it is accelerating upward, this acceleration is going to be positive. So we have, this is the general formula, the mass acceleration times g, plus g, sorry. So we plug in the values. We are going to see that this is going to give us the mass is 45. The acceleration is what? It's positive 3.65 plus 9.8. So the answer I'm getting is um, 605.25 newtons. Next, part B, you can pause the video and solve part B. So just consider the acceleration negative because it is going downward. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve part B. So we are saying that the general formula is this. So we have the normal force. So we have 45. Then now it's going to be negative 3.65 plus 9.8. The answer I'm getting, I'm getting 276.67. Okay, so that is it for this video.